Next, we want to see Selma Diamond. Selma Diamond was an early writer on your show of shows. Look at these names that she is with. Mel Tolkien, Larry Gelbart, Mel Brooks, and Selma Diamond, right? She was such a fascinating woman, but many people only know her from her part on Night Court, which was a show in the late 80s. Uh, she stepped into that character. She actually passed away in the course of the show and was replaced by Marsha Warfield. So most people only know her from her acting career. But in fact, she was a writer many years earlier. She had some comedy albums that were very, very well respected. And I happen to know right now her great nephew is working on a documentary uh, to tell the story of her career. Because sadly, what happens to her and this woman, Lucy Callan, Lucille Callan, excuse me, she was also a writer on these early Sid Caesar shows, right? So you can see her in this picture. She's right there doing the work with everybody. She's part of it everywhere you go, except when we start to think about memorializing the people who worked on these shows. Now you have to think about how brilliant Lucille Callan was. When TV went away from her, right? When it started to be something that they weren't really giving her jobs in, she began to write murder mysteries, the Tanglewood murder, that whole C.B. Greenfield line is her. So she was already in the world of let's have a continuing series. If I can't do it on TV, I'll do it in book form. So this is a woman who wrote all her career. And I also happen to love this quote by her. <laughs> Man's home is his castle and his wife is the janitor. This is the kind of wit. She's very much a Dorothy Parker type of person. 